Hello all and welcome back to my channel. I am Paige and this week we are playing around with more t-shirts. <laughs> I have had a couple of black t-shirts sitting here in my craft area just waiting for me to give them new life and we are gonna test out bleach painting on them. We have messed around with some bleach before when we did bleach tie-dye but never just painting bleach on with a brush to make art on a t-shirt. We're gonna play around and see what we get. And if you're interested in seeing how the t-shirts turn out, please continue watching. Got shirt number one down. I have a mixture of half water and half bleach over here. We may toy around with diluting it a little bit further, see if we could like get the bleach to fade a little bit. I don't know. This is gonna be our first one. And I'm thinking that I wanna design that kind of goes with the V-neck of this shirt. I wanna try to attempt a moth so the wings will go out this way. And I want the body to be right on the shoulder seam of this. So with this being shirt number one, I'm just gonna kind of play around, see what we can learn, see how it turns out. I was a little scared doing this without a pattern, but I quickly realized that you could see where I painted down the bleach and it developed pretty quickly. I was able to see where the lines needed to be filled in a bit more, where they needed to be darkened and where some spots were missing. Once the shirt is finished, I do have a tub of one part hydrogen peroxide to nine parts water setting aside ready for me. I'm going to take this shirt, rinse it out really good, and then put it in that hydrogen peroxide for about 20 minutes. That's going to finish and end the bleaching process so the bleach doesn't continue to eat away at the fibers of your shirt. Once that's done soaking, then I'll probably take it out, rinse it out nice and good again, and run it through for good measure with just laundry soap, and we'll see how these shirts turned out. Our t-shirts are ready. After the whole hydrogen peroxide bath, I did go ahead and run them through just a regular wash cycle, and then I dried them. They are all done and so cool. This is our first shirt, the moth one. I decided to kind of dip this corner, the opposite end of the t-shirt, into the bleach and let it kind of soak up. So that's an interesting effect. And we've got some speckles everywhere. And here is the moth. I could have gone even bigger with this guy, but how cool. There are some darker spots, but I think it kind of gives it a nice appeal. I like it. And we have some of the shade work in there where I just lightly brushed a little bit of bleach on. This turned out so cool. And for the second shirt, I actually dip dyed the side in the same manner where I just kind of scrunched this up and threw it in the cup of bleach. And then on the opposite side, I painted this gorgeous flower girly 
looking up at the sun and I did use cardboard in here so the back is pretty much untouched by the bleach. Ah! This is such a pretty shirt and here are some clips of them out in the natural light. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's craft. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I have been away for a couple of weeks. I took a little hiatus, but I tend to post videos on Fridays. I also have links for my social media and all of the items I used in this week's video down in the description box below. I'll see you guys all for the next one.